Hello guys, hope you've been doing well. I know it's been really long, but then I was busy with my first semester and all that stuff. So nonetheless, I decided to just upload this video, which as you can read from the title and the thumbnail, is about like how to complete the syllabus for physics, chemistry, mathematics, first and second PU for CT 2023 in less than a month. Um, I'll be giving you like resources, links, PDF, as you can see, and a study plan. So I will just get straight to the point. I won't beat around the bush. I know that you know your time is important during this period. So yeah, as you can see, I'll be going to the first part, which will be about frequently asked questions. So um, this is like a this is like a pretty important segment because I've had a lot of people asking me the uh, asking me these questions pretty often, so I thought it would help you guys. So the first question would be like, if second PU physics one shot video, like whether it will be coming out on my channel. So I know that I've uploaded the uh, one shot video for first PU, as you guys might have seen it, which has all the chapters from first PU. So the second PU video is not going to be coming out. There are two reasons. One, as I've already told you, I'm busy with my semester and exams actually, but then I still thought of uploading this because I saw I saw a lot of them, um, you know, struggling with all of this, and then they, was, they were texting me, so I just thought I'd upload this. And the second reason is because there are already resources available for twelfth PU um, CET, whereas first PU it was not there. For physics so I was like um, I just decided to upload it so yeah that's regarding the first question and then the second question would be like as we all know now like there are 2.5 lakh aspirants so whether it would impact all of you guys or not and then students have been worried so the thing is the truth is obviously there would be an increased competition because I think last year it was 2.2 lakh students writing and then there are like approximately 300,000 more students writing this time even though we are not yet sure how many will actually appear out of 2.5 lakh but of course there will be an increase in competition like I won't sugarcoat it for you it's the truth um, you'll be having more competition this time but then if you put in the work like as usual and then there are obvious like there are obvious possibilities of not being impacted a lot but yeah you can uh, obviously see that there are more number of students writing so yeah next question it's like um yeah so to, to conclude this if there are more students writing there will be more competition but at the same time the students who wrote this time are like students who would have not been serious aspirants so if you get my point these are not serious aspirants who are writing but yeah we should account for the fact that there will be a lot of droppers because of the um easier board exam which was there in 2022 there will be like more droppers i think who will be writing to take advantage of the fact that they got like good board marks last year so yeah that's that brings us to the third question which is whenever someone says 50 percent from boards and 50 percent from kct people are wondering how exactly it works so let me just uh, go through a quick example here let's say you got like 290 out of 300 in boards then using this formula you'll be able to get 48.33 out of 50 and let's say you get 120 out of 180 i think i made a mistake here it's actually 180 um out of 120 out of 180 in CET. So let's say you get 120 out of 180 in KCT, then using this formula, you'll be able to get 33.33 out of 50 in CET. So when you add them up, you get 81.66 percentage, or basically 81.66 out of 100, which according to the analysis uploaded by Irish Chemistry, uh, which was based on 2022, the video link, by the way, all the links throughout this video will be there in the comment section, because description, I don't think it would like um, accept so many links. So I'll be putting them in the comment section, each and every link from this video, so you don't have to worry about it. So the link over here, I've just written it anyways, so that while like, you check it later on, you'll be able to understand. So yeah, as you can see, according to analysis uploaded by Irish Chemistry based on 2020, 2020 marks versus rank, this percentage over here that you've gotten will give you approximately 1,400 rank, and then obviously like your rank could be increased because of because of the increased number of students writing this year. So that's regarding the example, and then as you can see, this 120 or 180. Um, so next one would be like messed messed up KCT. So what now? Like what are the backups and all that? So obviously there's a question, and it's better to be prepared with um, you know this thing because obviously there would be like a slight possibility of messing up CT or uh, some due to some stuff. So let's say if that happens, then there are backups over here. As you can see, a lot of these entrances could have already been done, but I've still decided to include them so that let's say 2024 CT aspirant watches this video, they'll be able to like um, prepare for all these entrances beforehand. So these are all the entrances uh, I've included regardless of whether they're good or bad. There's JE, there's Maharashtra CT, Comet Case, then there's CT itself, PESAT, BITSAT, VAT, TEEE, SRM, JEE, and then WB, JW, and then MET, CUET, SOA, ITER, Entrance, LPU Nest, DSAT, and then Ramaya University of Applied Sciences Entrance Test, and then there's ISER and Aptitude Test, KVPY, um, which is discontinued now, and then KI, KII, TWE, RVSAT, SNU, SAT. There could be a lot more, but then I've decided to include the backups. So that's regarding the backups, which is fourth FAQ. The fifth FAQ would be like, I finished with basic preparation. Do you think your 30 days would be enough if you're asking me the question? Yes, it would be enough if you have basic preparation done. This plan will work for all of you guys, so you don't have to worry. You just have to put in a lot of work. So I would like tell you right now, the prerequisites are like you need minimum of six to eight hours. Like per day, you have to put minimum of six hours to eight hours of like just studies, and then that would be one of the main uh, prerequisite. And second prerequisite is that you should have like had basic preparation done. Like at least boards, you should have been like thorough. So that's the prerequisite. That's regarding the fifth FAQ. And sixth FAQ is like I, uh, if you're asking me whether you should go for private coaching or let's say you already are going for private coaching or let's say you already have paid courses. For example, I think Simplified Minds have their paid courses right now. Physicswala has also released his paid course. So in that case, obviously, I would not like ask you to completely follow this. What you can do is you can take out the best from both the sides, and then you can obviously um, use the best from both the aspects. You know what I'm saying? Like then you can combine and use it more wisely. So let's come to the uh, last question, which is regarding guesswork in CT. Like the analogy goes um, way back to the new channel Manoj PN versus Kandar Prasad. Like I would like to say that this comparison is just for those people who are wondering what to do. Because if you see like Manoj PN, his channel he uploads a lot of videos on how to like guess the questions for CT. So if you ask me, it's not recommended. You cannot like rely on guesswork, even if he says 20, 25 questions and all that. It's not going to happen. Um, it's by experience. You can obviously go for those videos if you like really like to. Um, if let's say you have zero preparation done and then you just want to go through guesswork, then you can go for it. But however, Skandar Prasad he also uploads a similar um, type of video. But then the difference is that Skandar Prasad has his 
um, shortcut series, which basically means it's smart guesswork. It's not just blind guesswork. Like, let's say you have options A, B, C, D. Just putting A and C is different from actually like eliminating B and D and choosing out of A and C. So if you're able to understand, understand what I'm saying, both of these channels have different ways of approaching the guesswork analogy. And then in my opinion, it's better to like go for Sandha Prasad uh, playlist with all the, like, by the way, both of these are YouTubers. And then it's better to go for his way of guess, guesswork, which is basically eliminating other options and then using shortcuts. No doubt even he also uploads shortcuts and all of that, but then he uploads a lot of videos which, which frequently talks about um, guesswork by uh, observation and all of that. So it's up to you. I just want to, um, you know, approach those topics. Next, let's go to chapter wise weightage. So yeah, from here, the actual video will start. And the first part was just for those people who have like doubts and all of that. So from here, we can see that like, even though you have 30 days, it's better to do the chapters with high weightage. Like all of this is taken from simplified minds, by the way, like I would like to give them 100% credit for all of this. So all of this is taken from simplified minds. I mean, all of the tables, not the other stuff, the tables basically. So as you can see right here, this chapter wise weightage has um, average marks written out here, like average weightage and all the chapters written out here. So like, you have 30 days, it's better to start doing the chapters which have high weightage first. But for organic chemistry, always follow an order. Um, and the order is basically the NCRT order. That's my suggestion all the time. So that's regarding chemistry weightage. Now let's go to like uh, maths. So as you can see, there's a similar um, analysis for maths done by them, which is average marks written out here, like uh, chapter wise weightage and the chapters written out here. So for maths, you can do the same thing. And remember for differentiation, it's better to follow the NCR NCRT order. Don't directly do like a, like a chapter like integrals without doing differentiation. But other than that, for the other chapters, obviously it's better to go for the weightage during this 30 days of plan because you cannot do every single chapter in depth. So it's better to do the ones with higher weightage. So there's a similar one for physics. Um, you can obviously pause the video and check this out. Uh, yeah, so I'll be moving on from the chapter wise weightage. Just to give you guys an idea and like, you know, have in your mind what exactly to do and what exactly not to do. So um, yeah, as you can see, next topic would be 30 day study plan, which comes to the main part of the video. And once again, I'll be uploading all these links and all that in the comment section. So as you can see, I have taken like a lot of time, like I took out a lot of time and effort and energy to compile all of these links. So I'll be honest, but it took me a lot of time. And in fact, I did not have all of this done during my preparation. I did recently for you guys so that you'll be able to like use YouTube to the maximum and, you know, extract all the important links. So as you can see for chemistry CT, there's a for 11th PU chemistry, there's a playlist link, which is uh, a video by Irish chemistry. It's the same way he has also uploaded a video for 12th PU, which is called as the final punch um, revision series. I think yeah, it's called as the final punch revision series. So basically both these links will take you to, uh, yeah, so both these links will be taking you both these links will be taking you to a playlist with all the 11th videos and this one will take you to a playlist with all the 12th videos. One shot and in my opinion, Arish Chemistry is the best channel to watch for CET Chemistry. I had followed him and I'll be honest, but I think almost the entire paper had come from his notes. So yeah, that would be my suggestion. These links will be in the comment section so you don't have to worry about it. And then let's actually go, go, go into physics CET. So as you can see here, um, for 11th PUC, I have already uploaded one shot. So this link is basically the same one shot which I have uploaded. But for 12th PUC, there's no such one shot. So this is where the things get interesting. The reason why I didn't upload is because there are already resources on YouTube. So I'll be showing it to you right now. This first video, I'll be going one by one. So this first video is electric charge and field. Second video is the second chapter and similarly the whole list of link over here like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, the 14 links over here, all of them basically are the 14 chapters from 12th, um, like last 12th slash second view. So what I'm saying is what you have to do is you have to use these resources. Like I hope, you're, and by the way, like these, there's a playlist in case I have missed any 12th physics chapter in those above links. I have actually not missed it. Or let's say you're not satisfied with the one shot video of the specific link. Then there's another link as a backup, which you can use. Or let's say even you don't like the stuff from this. There's another channel called Get CT Go, which was an initiate, initiative taken by Deeksha. So you can watch their videos. And then also like, let's say none of this works out for you. You can send me a message on the Telegram channel link, which is there in the description and also is there in this video itself and in the comment section. So once you join the Telegram, you can request for the link there. So as you can see here, um, we have 12 PUC, every single chapter for CT, one shot. Like all these link videos are one shot. They barely take like 30 to 40 minutes to recap your 12th PUC physics case CT. So I hope you're able to understand what I'm doing over here. Over here, what I'm doing uh, is that I'm giving you guys all the resources after spending a lot of time compiling them from YouTube. And now you're actually having all the one shot um, links available because I've compiled them for you. Similarly, I've done the same compilation for maths. So while doing maths, you should give the first preference to this link, which is basically uh, a playlist by Inspiring Maths. He has uploaded a one shot lectures for almost all the maths chapters, but however, he hasn't uploaded for a couple of them. And for those, you can refer to ASPN Maths Class. Um, you can use his channel, but do not refer to his CT 2022 videos because a lot of stuff was deleted in previous year CT. Instead, refer to his 2021 videos, and then I've written the reason here. And let's say even, let's say after everything, if you don't find a chapter from the above two channels, or let's say you don't like um, a specific one-shot video, then watch this channel. This is called as Anand Medical Academy. When you click on this link, it will take you to a playlist where all of his maths videos are there. Even though it's called Medical Academy, he has uploaded one-shot maths video. So that's regarding maths. So as you can see here, after I spend a lot of time, effort, and energy, I've compiled the entire um, CT resources available on YouTube in just like three slides, and all of this will be in the comment section. So yeah, that's basically the purpose of this entire video. And then coming to the resources now, there's obviously, if you're wondering where to get questions from, you can do it from this book. It's called as um, MTG Chapterwise Solutions. You can buy the latest version, which would be, I think, till 2021 or maybe 2022. And then one thing you have to know is like the priority is like you have to start from the year 2020 
like if you start from the year before and then go on till 2014 2016 so like start from the previous year and then go on backwards don't start from 2014 and come till 2021 that's my recommendation and the side note is that for chapters that you are starting from zero like let's say you're starting a chapter from zero except chemistry because for chemistry don't use anything other than Irish chemistry I, I would say like his channel is the best for CT chemistry for maths and physics let's say you're starting a chapter from zero then use the channel get CTO because their one shot series are more elaborative and they give more idea so that's what I'm saying like let's say you're not able to understand these chapters because you're doing them for the first time then go to go get um, then go to get CTO and then watch the link watch their video for the specific chapter now coming to the final part which is the daily tasks as promised you can join my telegram channel so there's a link it will also be there in the description and the comment box please do join the telegram channel because i have been uploading daily tasks like this one which i'll be explaining in a bit and we'll be doing it until the syllabus is done so currently for today we are at day 11 there's like a community of 100 people and all of them have been like uh, seeing this schedule being uploaded daily so if you're wondering how it looks like i'll be uploading a message every day which has the day number has the subject and also has the link for you to do like these links have been extracted from the same um, resource pack which I showed you above but this is more organized so I will be uploading the link for that day and also I'll be writing the total time required and maximum time required and how many chapters you're going to be covering and also what to do later on and also additional information has been uploaded and also for PC slash uh, laptop users I've uploaded music to listen to while studying so as you can see it's a it's like a, a huge initiative taken um, to upload daily tasks for the entire 45 46 days so don't panic even though you are 11 days late like i said if you're putting in eight hours a day you can obviously catch up because every day it would take like only three to four hours according to this schedule and then you have double the time every day so you can easily catch up on the schedule and finish the um tasks in like within 30 days before your ct so yeah with this video i think i'm pretty much done this will be my last video for ct 2023 because obviously um there's not much left now so yeah with this video as you can see i enabled you guys on how to use the resources available and i've also compiled them for you after this point it's how much work you put in and how much you'll be doing so yeah um that's that's all i want to say and also i want to like say that i did not mean to um you know make fun of manoj pn or any other channel i was just saying that students should not fall for the trap of guesswork because it won't be working always i just wanted to tell you the clear difference between smart guesswork and the blind guesswork so that's about it so yeah now it's like up to you you have a plan you have all the resources i've done the compilation everything now it's up to how much work you'll be putting so yeah work hard and then all the best see you guys